What's going on vapors out there? Um, if you haven't heard already, FDA deeming regulations have come through as a final um, and things aren't looking good. They're not completely set in stone, but things are not looking good because the reason why I say it's not set in stone is because there are amendments that are trying to be passed to help save this. And uh, if it's not saved through these amendments, if Congress doesn't get their head out of their asses, um, vaping as you know it, pretty much done. Because they are ruling that any device after 2007 needs to go through testing, needs to go through rigorous testing that can cost up to a million dollars per device per nicotine, per flavor, per, you know, anything that's due with vaping that's going to be regulated to a damn point where it's not, not going to exist because all these mom and pop companies, all these small companies can't do a damn thing about it because they can't afford it. And I've already seen one out there that's like, okay, well, now we can't do nothing, I give up. All this, all this advocacy means nothing. No. It's not done yet. We are not done. So, we need people to step up like they never stepped before. If you're a, a cloud chaser, if you're, you know, if you're someone who only did this because, you know, you're chasing clouds or you want to win competitions and money, well, you know what? Time to put your mouth, your money where your mouth is. Because it's getting ridiculous. I'm, I'm tired of people saying, oh, if we, you know, wish our, our representatives would have done something. Well, it's not just up to them to do something, it's up to us. And as me as a show host, I get sponsors to give you free stuff. You know what? That free stuff, gone. It's gone now. Because they say it's marketing towards children because we are giving out free stuff. And we're not. And if you're not a vapor, and you don't understand what this really means, I bought this this year, 2016. This did not exist 10 years ago. Think about it. 10 years ago. What are some other things that you enjoy in life that didn't exist 10 years ago? Um, let's go with cars. Hell, I'm in a car built in 2003. Think about it. If you couldn't buy a car that was past 2007, you'd be kind of mad. All those new cars came out fancy. Nope. Don't exist no more. Let's see. Uh, new, new clothing. Hey, like that fancy new clothing you got back last year, this year? Well, if it didn't exist in 2007, 2006, sorry, all those new Nikes, Reeboks, and Fila, and uh, Jordans, whatever you want to call them, if all those didn't exist in 2006, all gone. Oh, you're a small business owner, came out with something cool and inventive, past 2007, all gone. Unless you have a million dollars to pay for the testing. You have a million dollars? I just know I don't have it. I know the mom and pop shop that I went to, that I go to almost daily here in Littlefield, they can't afford it. Heck, Ritual can't afford it. Vapor World, they might be able to afford it. I don't know, but that's still, they have a lot of flavors. If it's going to cost them a million bucks a piece to test them, they can't afford it. Let's see what else. Fancy wallet. Boom. This was three years ago. They didn't have this ten years ago. Gone. I'm telling you, right now, if you think this is just about smokers and just about vapors, it's not. This is going going to go beyond because they want to regulate things that don't even exist. Oh, it didn't exist past 2007. Sorry. This whole setup right here, this year, gone. I wasn't vaping up until about three years ago. So 2013, yeah, still those those things sucked. And they're saying they're doing this regulation for 2007 because things existed in 2006. You know what? That is the greatest, biggest bag of crap I've ever heard in my life. I, all those politicians, I guarantee you, 99% of them are not buying, are not driving 2007 or later vehicles. They're happy in their new Mercedes because they can afford it. And, uh... Here's the thing about this regulation, it's not just for vaping, it's about cigars too, and about cigarettes too. 
And the reason they also put 2007 because cigarettes really haven't changed. Oh yeah, they put little flavor capsules in them now. Well, sorry. I know they had uh, those Camel Crushes for quite a while now, at least 10 years. I, was, I smoked a couple when I was in the military. And I've been in the military since I was 19. It's, it, you just got to get it through your heads, sign the petitions, call your politicians, call your representatives, get your word heard. Because if you've been sitting back while everyone else has been doing your work, you are, you don't deserve it. You really don't deserve it. All you cloud compers out there, I've been in cloud comp myself, but you know what? I signed the petitions. I called my representatives. I've called the White House about it. It, it, may, it takes it takes three minutes. You know what? Do it while you're taking a crap. How about that? You got nothing else better to do. Read a magazine, search Twitter, search Facebook, vape. Call. Call them on the crapper. I don't give a damn. It's stupid. It's getting stupid. And everything we know is going to be gone because we didn't fight for it. Yeah, I'm part of it. I did my part. But you know what? I'm part of this vaping industry. I'm a show host. I host a YouTube channel. I have my own Facebook Facebook page. It's it's getting stupid because people haven't stepped up. And yeah, there are over 10 million vapors. 99% of the vapors have quit smoking. And big tobacco is pissed because we are taking their money. And you know what that means? We take big tobacco money, big tobacco's money. We take money out of politicians' pockets. There's very few politicians that actually vape. And one did it in Congress, which I have wholeheartedly support for him. Even though he's backed by a big tobacco vaping company, he shows that people vape. And it's not something that's small. It's not going to go away. And obviously the FDA knows this, and they're mad because they're losing money to big tobacco. So yeah, get mad about it. Get angry about something and do your damn job. Okay? That's all I got. Join Savannah. Join uh, Kaz Kazaa. Join your local group. You know, we got We Dripped Up, Foggy You Up. We got uh, Trove Live. We got all those Vapors TV channels. We've been doing giveaways and we've been talking all this. And a lot of viewers come in. I don't want to hear about advocacy. Well, you know what? Time to shut up or put up. That's what it's about. You know what? A lot of veterans vape too. And. The FDA is a government agency. The veterans work for the government. Not, you're not just having civilians. You're having veterans come after it now. So FDA, this fight isn't over. This fight is not over. I'm going to keep on vaping. You ban it, make our own juice. Oh, zero nicotine? We'll put nicotine in it. I don't give a damn. We're going to look, look over these documents. All his representatives looking over, gonna give us a layman's term of it. They're pretty much, they're they're pretty much saying that we're targeting children. I've got something for you about that. Okay. Beer companies targeting children. Tobacco companies targeting children. Pornography targeting children. I'll be hundred percent honest with you. I was looking at adult magazines when I was under eighteen. Sorry, that was life before me. But I'm being honest with you right now. This this whole targeting children gimmick that you're trying to pull on us. You think we're the only ones? No, we're not. Yeah, there are companies out there that put, you know, puff tarts or, you know, gummy gummy vapes or whatever. Those people need to get, we get rid of those people or change their ideas. But we are not targeting children. Got a girl on it. Oh, well. Yeah, I think a kid wants to vape something with two skulls on it. It's just stupid. Getting really, really stupid. That's all I got. This is one of my longest rants. Get on your get on your damn high horse. Do something. Get the get it done. Don't give up. We are not done fighting. If this loses, this is over a hundred thousand jobs. More than that. Probably a million jobs now. Because vaping has gotten so big and it's helped so many people. And you think you're gonna take it away from us this easily? No, sir. All you veterans out there, thank you for your service. Get your shit done.